Cormac then took on the task of editing the, these interviews. In the case of Mayo, uh, he chose 10 interviews. That doesn't mean there were only 10. He, he did maybe 30 interviews in Mayo altogether. And he chose, Mayo was divided into four brigades, north, south, east, and west. And he took five interviewees from the west because I suppose most things that happened in this vicinity, Casabar, Newport, Westport, Lewisport, that area. Uh, one from South Mayo, two from East, and two from North. Now, as he edited the work, Carmack realized that he would need assistance from somebody with a similar interest in Mayo. He was having difficulty with surnames of townland, uh, surnames, townlands, dates, and with the local dialect. He contacted Westport Histori Historical Society, that's the problem, and Aidan Clark put him on to me, and that's where I came into it. I had a, a lifelong interest in things of national interest around here. I took on the challenge, that was 18 months ago, and now we see the fruit of our work. I felt very privileged to have been involved with the work of Ernie Amani. Now, this is not a book of Irish history in the proper sense of the word. It jumps straight into 1920 and goes on to 1924. So you'd really want a, a good history book in your hand to complement it. Now, the book concerns the activities of the young men of the IRA who, with the backing of Dal Airden at the time, fought against the terror campaign <coughs> launched on the population by the imperialist government in London that was resisting Ireland's move towards independence and separation. In the front line for the British Empire was the RAC. Some of the RAC were smart enough to answer the call from Dal Eard and the design. Others lay low. Others lay low, they held back and cooperated with the IRA. Others cooperated with the forces of the Tur, the Oxys and the Tans. The enemy couldn't have operated around here or anywhere else unless they had the RAC guiding them. They call it the Ten War, but really it should be called the RAC War. The truce came, followed by the split, and with it the Civil War. In Mayo, it was not the brutal nature of <coughs> Richardson and Kerry or Dublin. With the Civil War came imprisonment, internment, <coughs> executions, hunger strikes, and the wayside murders. Peace came again, followed by immigration of a beaten but not defeated IRA. It's all there in the book. The interviewees have all passed on. As the man said, we're all equal in the graveyard. We are left with it to ponder their lives and stories. Thank you all again.